All right, hey guys. So we are out here back on the Roanoke River. I have a tournament coming up this Sunday. Today's Friday. This is gonna be one of my first videos where I actually do two days of practice leading into a tournament. The tournament that I'm fishing on Sunday is gonna be the Eastern North Carolina Bass Challenge presented by Jeffrey Davis Jr. Um, if you're looking at a tournament series where you fish as a team, good payouts, and um, a uh, pretty challenging field um, i highly recommend this trial so i look forward to the fishing this all year i will have a co-angler in the boat fishing with me as um as part of my team so guys today's day one it's friday it's already uh afternoon uh, i had to make that drive um two hours up here so let's see uh let's see what we can get um I'm hopeful that uh, these fish are biting, that they're starting to push up to uh, spree, uh, or they're starting to push up to spawn. Let's see if we can't find some spawning fish. Can't see if we can get some fish off these points. All right, guys, stick with me. Let's see how we do. Alright guys, got it a little small one, not a keeper, but uh, missiles baits, let's keep going. I think I got my first keeper of the day. Guys, I'm not gonna throw in the live well because this is practice, but uh, flip in uh, brush piles. There we go. Heck yeah, beautiful fish. Thank you. 
third bass of uh, practice, day number one. Not a keeper, I've only got one keeper so far. Um, that fish was almost 16 inches and um, it weighed like two and a half pounds. So we haven't caught any big ones yet, but I've only been out here for a couple hours. We're gonna keep trying, but uh, I've caught them on crankbaits and I've caught them flipping. So, heck yeah, it's a way to start practice. There you go guys, That's fish uh, or bass number five or four today. Um, I think it's gonna be just shy of the 14 inch limit. But um, at last point during my last video that y'all are gonna watch this Sunday, that's where I caught them all. So they're still here. You just gotta be really, really slow. Yeah guys. Everything that I have black and blue, they're hitting. Pass number five, guys. I am not catching big ones today at all. Even flipping, I'm only catching these small ones, but at six bass today, these creeks are loaded. Do I think I can win tournament here? I have no clue. I haven't caught any big ones except for one. We'll see you guys. guys I think I know what these fish are doing brush piles are structure right now is that fish number seven today four off of flipping jig or four off of uh, the missile baits flipping okay guys All right, guys, I don't know if you've seen that catch. For some reason, my GoPro is off, but uh, we got our second keeper of practice day number one. Um, I think it's my seventh or eighth fish now. Black and blue is definitely the color right now. I'm gonna stick with it. I've caught them on a swim jig. I've also uh, been flipping for them as well. Caught them on a crankbait, so 
Hey, we keep trying, right? Okay, guys. All right, guys, that's three keepers today. He was right underneath that log. I got him dialed in today. Black and blue, jig, flipping bait, on structure, either close to the bank or in the middle of the creek, it doesn't matter. They're just tight to structure. My biggest one today, guys. Right there. them out today hopefully tomorrow it pans off the same way man look at that beauty that's two and a half three pounder right there Heck yeah. yeah all right guys quick update practice day number one currently got four fish um that i have weighed for a total of about 9.4 pounds right now on day number one I did figure out that these fish are holding really close to structure. I have caught a few right up against the bank, but most of the time they've actually been protruded, um, I would say off the bank with lay downs and uh, brush piles. However, everything's come off structure. Um, I did catch one on a drop shot earlier today. Um, it was right at a two pounder. And then this is what I've been doing all my damage on. This is black and blue swim jig with a gamma got well actually with a trocar hook so got a rage menace on the end of it it's been fun guys i'm probably gonna wrap it up in about 30 minutes so i just want to give you that update black and blue has been the way to go today so hopefully uh you know tomorrow's the same and uh, sunday's the same if not you know what we'll fish the moment all right guys All right, guys, four keepers for practice day number one, about nine, nine and a half pounds. So, hey, we're going to keep hitting it tomorrow, uh, practice day number two. And then hopefully me and my uh, co-angler can smash them on um, Sunday. So, wish me luck, guys. Appreciate you following my channel. Stay tuned. Heck yeah.